So you're new to Kingdom Hearts and you've just finished the intro scene and now you're going to be asked to pick two of these three weapons. The first one will be your main stat, the second one will be your weakest stat. So why is it important? Well, these three things here, they're not going to just determine your stats but your abilities and what level they're learned. For example, if you choose the sword, your attack abilities are going to be coming first. If you choose magic, you're going to get more magic support focused abilities, and then the shield will be defense. I very much recommend picking up the shield. Why? Well, there's this ability called Second Chance, which is very useful even early on the game, but definitely later in the game. It stops your HP at 1, and you won't fall below one unless you're attacked again so it's a lifesaver especially after you complete an area called hollow bastion which afterwards all the game's enemies get a lot stronger on the plus side they give you way more exp and item drops so it is a win-win here however you do need that second chance because without it you can get easily killed Take a look how much Cloud here just knocked me down with one of his attacks and he's not really that much of an end area boss. So, what level do you learn these things depending on what item? And I'm going to give you both the PS2 original and the final mix to help anyone out depending on what version they're playing. The Steam is going to be final mix, that's all they're going to have, but anyways... Here we go. With the shield, you will learn second chance at level 18 if you're playing the PS2 original. If you're playing on Steam, you have to go to level 36. But I think this is actually a good change by the developers because second chance can really break the game. So what about the sword? Well, if you're playing the um, Final Mix version, you're going to learn that at level 48. If you're playing the original PS2, it's a few levels higher, but not by much. At level 51, you're going to have to grind a bit. As for the rod, in the PS2 version, you'll get it at level 48, which is a reasonable level to learn this skill. It'll put you right at the end of Hollow Bastion, where you're going to need it the most. The problem with the rod, and why you shouldn't get it if you're playing the Steam Final Mix version, is... How much they increased the level you need to get the rod in the final mix. So what level do you get it? Is it in the 50s? Nope. 60s? Nope. Level 70s? Nope. Level 80s? No, but you're getting warmer. You won't get it until you're at level 90. And if I sound frustrated about this, it's because someone decided to play through the PC version without looking up levels and decided to do something different than the shield and pick the rod and is now paying for it as he hits the end game level and does not want a new player to come to the same frustrations. Square Enix, I understand having to change the balance a little bit. I understand doubling it for the shield. However, level 90 for an ability that you definitely need to survive the end game bosses that's a little bit much. The only time I get to level 90 is if I decide I'm going to do a 60 to 70 hour playthrough and clear all the bosses. That includes the fight with Sephiroth as well as the added boss in Hollow Bastion. So yes, if you're new to the game, do not pick that rod at the beginning. Go with the shield. Having higher defense comes in handy, especially later in the game. Anyways, this is Tommy's Quick Tips. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe.